Hello, dear students. Uh, in a previous lesson, we stopped here in question 7 from chapter review in chapter 6. Question 7 says, does dropping a strong magnet down a long copper tube induces a current in the tube? If yes, if so, what effect will the induced current have on the motion of the magnet? So in this question, we have two parts. The first part, for example, if we have a tube, Okay, a copper tube and the magnetism north and south pole, for example, when the magnetism is dropping into this coil, in this coil, the current is induced. Why? Because in the case of approaching the magnetism, the magnetic field increases and it goes to changing the magnetic flux. When the magnetic flux changes, it goes to inducing the current in this tube. So the current is induced. According uh, to the right hand rule, we can find in the direction of the uh, direction of the uh, magnetic field. Okay, so it should be like that. Why? Because according to the right hand rule to the coil or the loop, the four fingers is represent for the direction of the current and the thumb is the direction of the magnetic field and is north. When we approach the north, this side becomes also north pole. Okay, so the magnetic field becomes like that. Okay, so we have two fields. The first field from the magnetism is north, and the second field is also north. North and north, they repel each other. So that is why it goes to slowing down. It means that this magnetism does not falling with the same uh, the gravity, constant gravity, gra uh, 9.81. So it goes to slowing down. Why? Because of the inducing magnetic fields. How many magnetic fields do we have? Two. The first magnetic field lines for the bar magnet and the second magnetic field line of the induced bar uh, magnetic field that produces as a result of the induced current. So the answer is that, yes, the current is induced, and this induced current produces the induced magnetic field. This magnetic field it opposes to the, the, uh, to the exter mag external magnetic field according to Lenz's law. So the induced field opposes the magnetic field of the magnet. The, result, uh, the resulting force slows. Uh -huh. What happened? The resulting force slows what? The magnet speed through the tube, okay, as you can see in this figure, look, when the magnet is dropping into this loop and the current is produced in this loop and this end becomes north, 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 they repeal, that is why it goes to slow, okay, this is a uh, question seven, okay, question nine, a very good question and it is a wizardy question be careful okay question 9 in chapter review uh, question 9 says an electromagnet is placed next to a coil of wire in the arrangement shown below the figure is given in this question okay and according to Lenz's law, what will be the direction of the induced current? What will be what? The direction of the induced current in the resistor. How many circuits do we have? We have two circuits. The first circuit is electromagnet circuit. What do I mean by electromagnet circuit? It means that the magnetic field of this circuit is produced because of the current, this directed current. When carrying into this solenoid, it produces the magnetic field. The next circuit is located next to the very circuit, is wrapped around the iron rod and a resistor. What is unknown in this question? The direction of the current in the resistor. Okay, direction of the current in the resistor are in the following cases. How many cases do we have? We have two cases. Okay, for well, the first case, the magnet, the magnetic field suddenly decreases. The magnetic field, what happened to the magnetic field? Decreases. Magnetic field decreases. After what? 
after the switch is opened. Why the magnetic field is decreases after the switch is opened? Because the flow of current becomes zero or becomes decreases when we open the circuit. When, when, sorry, when we open the switch. When we open the switch, what happened to the current? The current decreases until it reaches zero. Okay? When the current decreases, when the current decreases, what happened to the magnetic field? Magnetic field also decreases. In this question, in the case of open switch, look, open switch. In the case of open switch, what happened to the current? The current decreases. When the current decreases, what happened to the magnetic field? The magnetic field also decreases. When the magnetic field decreases, it is such as move it away of the magnetism. Okay? So, what is this sign? This sign indicates that the North Pole. Okay? And also, you can find the North Pole and South Pole of the electromagnet circuit by this source. What is the type of the source? DC source. Okay? In this source, uh, the direction of the current is the direction of the uh, positively charged, okay? The direction of the positive, okay? Uh, it means that the current, it goes in this direction. According to the right-hand rule, the direction of the current is below the iron rod. You have to op uh, close your hands. The direction of the current is downward. This end is north, this end is south. In the case of open switch, when we open the switch, the current decreases and magnetic field also decreases. When the magnetic field decreases, it acts such as move it away. When we move away the north pole, this end becomes what? South. What about this end? North. Okay, now we have south and north. According to right hand rule, put your fingers and the thumb with the direction of the north, close your hand. Where is the direction of the current? Downward. Okay, downward from left to right. For the first branch, the answer is from left to where? To right. Okay, but in the case of the close switch, if we close the switch, close switch, what happened to the current? Current increases. Magnetic field increases. When the, what do you mean by increasing of the magnetic field? It is like moving, approaching. In the case of the approaching, this end becomes north and the direction of the current also will be reversed. Okay? This is branch A. Branch B If the coil is moved closer to the electromagnet, the coil is closer to what? To the electromagnet. Okay? In the case of approaching, this end also becomes north. Why? Because this end is already north, it becomes north, and this end is south. Put your right hand, the forefinger, the thumb is north with the north, the thumb directed with the north, and the four fingers upward. Okay? So it means that the direction of the current is moving upward. Okay? Here. So the direction of the current from right to left. The answer is right to left. So this is very good question. Be careful. Okay. This was question nine in chapter uh, review. Okay. Another topic for today. The Faraday's law of induction predicts the magnitude of the induced EMF. As I explained it for you in the previous lessons, the lens is, was the lens was the first scientist who discovered the direction of the induced current. But Faraday, he found the magnitude of this induced current in the circuit. Okay, lenses allow lenses law allows you to determine what direction of the induced current in the circuit. But lenses law does not provide information on the magnitude of the induced current. So, who provided information about the magnitude? Faraday. To calculate the magnitude of the induced EMF or induced current, 
you have to use or you must use what Faraday's law okay of magnetic induction for a single loop of a circuit this may be expressed as follows for what for single loop why because according Faraday's law emf is equal to negative n change flux per unit of time okay per unit of time for the single loop emf is equal to what like a turn of time. For what? For one turn of the loop. Faraday's law, the magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the average time rate of changing of the magnetic flux. What do you mean by that? It means that according to Faraday's law, the magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to what? The time rate. Time rate of what? Change flux. The time rate of the changing magnetic flux passes through the coil. Okay. Uh, according to Faraday's law, we can rearrange the equation uh, from this equation. E is equal to negative n change flux per unit of time. What does this negative sign implies or indicate? The negative sign indicates is that the lenses law. According to the lenses law. The induced magnetic field is opposite the change of the external magnetic field. Okay, and as you know, the magnetic flux is, is equal to change in flux. Flux alone is equal to what? Flux is equal to a b cosine theta. What about the change in flux? Is equal to change in what? A bracket b cosine theta okay and so you can replace into the equation okay emf e, uh, in, uh, induced emf is equal to what is equal to negative and instead of delta flux write what delta a b cosine theta divided by what divided by time we replace it, this equation, and instead of change flux, we wrote what? A, B, cosine, theta. So, sometimes, this change, this delta, what does it mean by this triangle? Oh, this letter is a Greek letter, it means that the change between two things, okay? This delta sometimes for area, or sometimes for magnetic field. What do you mean by that? It means that maybe the area is changes of the coil, or maybe the magnetic field changes it depends on the question okay it depends so for the first one for the first case when magnetic field changes how can you rearrange the equation e emf is equal to negative n bring down a cosine theta the, what only the magnetic field remain delta b over what delta t so when does you have to use this equation to find induced emf when the magnetic field changes when what changes the magnetic field another equation when the area is changes when the area is changes number two when area Changes by changing the area, also it goes to changing magnetic flux. That is why it goes to induce the EMF. EMF is equal to what? In that case, you have to bring down the magnetic field NB cosine theta. What is changes here? Area delta A divided by delta T. Okay, so we have 10 questions in changing magnetic field, and all, we have only one question for solving by changing the area okay for the first case at const at uh, when the magnetic field changes when the magnetic field changes area is constant area is what fixed or constant but when the area is changes the magnetic field is constant okay look uh, this is the symbol of the equation e is induced electromotive force and is number of terran be the strength of the magnetic field so this is the change of the magnetic flux in Weber A is the area of the coil meter square B cosine theta the component 
of the magnetic field that is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. And this angle is the angle between uh, the angle between the magnetic field and the normal of the line. This angle is the angle between the magnetic field and the normal to the plane of the loop. T is the time in second. Okay, we have two equations. The first equation by changing magnetic field. The second equation by changing area. Delta B is equal to what? B final minus B initial. Delta A is equal to what? A final minus A initial. Okay. What are the variables that can give rise to an induced EMF? We have three variables that give us to change the magnetic flux. Applied magnetic field strength by changing the magnetic field or the circuit area or the angle of orientation uh, of the plane of the loop. Okay. Uh, what is the use of the Faraday's law? To find what? Direction or magnitude? Faraday's law provides information to finding the magnitude of induced EMF or induced current. Okay, by the way, uh, how can you determine the induced current? According to Ohm's law, E is equal to what? Induced EMF divided by radius. This equation can be used to find what? Induced current. These two equations can be used to find the EMF. In Faraday's law, what does the negative sign implies or indicate to? The answer is, indicate is that the induced magnetic field, B induced, opposes the change in the applied magnetic field as stated by Lenz's law. What does the average time rate of the changing magnetic flux depend on? It depends on the air, A, area of the coil, magnetic field, or the angle. Okay? According to this equation. Question three. Question three in chapter review. What four factors affected the magnitude of the induced EMF in the coil? What four factors? It means that the induced EMF in the coil depends on the four factors. What are the factors? According to this equation, Faraday's equation. E is equal to negative N. Change in what? A or B? It depends. A, B, cosine theta over time. The first factor is the magnetic field component perpendicular to the plane of the loop. It means that B cosine theta. Okay? The second factor, this is the first factor. Okay? The second factor, area of the coil, A. The third factor, the time, which is inversely proportional, which changes occur. And the last factor is number of turns. With the number of turns and A and B cosine theta is directly proportional, but with the time is inversely proportional. Less time, more EMF is produced. Less time, it, is, it means that moving coil or moving magnet, it's quickly. Okay? This is, implies the less time. Uh, we have some notes here before solving the questions about the Faraday's law. I would like to share with you. For, for ring, what do you mean by ring? It means that one turn. What do you mean by ring or single loop? It means that number of turns is equal to one. N is one. When the plane of the loop or coil is perpendicular, when the plane of the loop or coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field, theta is zero. When does theta is zero? When plane of the loop is perpendicular or area of the coil is, uh, or area vector is parallel to the direction of the magnetic field which means that the area vector becomes parallel to the magnetic field. And when the plane of the loop is parallel, the theta is 90. Okay? If the radius, is, if the radius of the ring or of ring or circular coil is given, you have to convert to what? To the area. Why? Because in the equation of Faraday, we need what? We need area, not radius. In the case, when the radius is given, what is this? This is radius. Of the circle you have to convert to what to the area area equal to what pi r squared how can you convert radius to area according to the math basic is equal to pi r squared okay uh, when the area of the rectangular coil for the area of the rectangular coil shape is equal to length times width in the question for example if in the question the length and the width is given of the coil 
you have to convert it to the area why because in the question in the equation of Faraday's law we need area not length and sizes okay how can you find the area of the rectangular is equal to length times width okay if the resistance is given then to find the current use this relation according to Ohm's law I is equal to what I is equal to induced EMF over resistance okay uh, note number seven if the SI unit of Tesla per second is given in the question what do you mean by Tesla per second for example if you see this number three Tesla per second what is this it means that this is Delta B over Delta T according to it is units you can recognize all physical quantity by units Tesla is a unit for what? For magnetic field. And the second is the unit for what? For time. What do you mean by Tesla per second? Tesla per second, it means that change in magnetic field or magnetic field per unit of time. Okay. Delta B over delta T. Okay. There is a change in the magnetic field per unit of time. In the case of increasing of the time rate of changing magnetic field, when the magnetic field increases, when the magnetic field increases, it means that B final bigger than B initial. When B final bigger than B initial, it means that delta B is positive. When does the change in magnetic field becomes positive? When the magnetic field increases. When B final bigger than B initial. In that case, the EMF becomes negative. Why? Because EMF is equal to negative n a cosine theta b over t change in magnetic field over time if delta b is positive and already we have a negative in the equation positive time is negative the result is negative okay so in the case of increasing magnetic field when delta b is positive induced dmf is what negative and vice versa is true when b when b decreases when b decreases it means that b final less than b initial okay so in that case delta b is positive or negative delta b is negative when delta b is negative delta b is negative negative time is negative positive so EMF becomes positive, okay? And this is true for the area also, okay? So, without solving the question, the students know uh, the final result of, EF, of EMF is negative or positive. The result of EMF is negative when the change in magnetic field increases or positive. The result, the final result of EMF is positive when the magnetic field it decreases okay okay so if the ring or coil pull it steadily out this is very important be careful this note is very important please guys when the coil is pulled steadily out or of the field or the coil is removed the coil is what removed of the magnetic field or the coil is exits Exit from what? From the field. Then the final magnetic field is equal to what? Zero. When does magnetic field, when does the final magnetic field become a zero in three cases? When the coil is pulled steadily out, or when the question says the coil is removed, or when the question says the coil exits of the field, or exit is the field. Okay, be careful. In that three cases, what is the magnet of B final? B final is zero. Okay. If the ring or coil is placed in the coil, then the B initial also is zero. In the case of placing, like the starting from rest or something in a mechanical we studied. Okay. Uh, uh, note number 12, if delta B is the same of the note in number nine, as I mentioned in the note number nine, if delta B of, or, over delta T or delta I over delta T increases 
In the case of increase delta B or delta A becomes what? Becomes positive. In the case of increasing A and B, EMF becomes what? Negative. According what? According the lenses. And in the case, for example, when delta B or delta T period of time, delta A period of time decreases, it means that A and B becomes negative. Negative time is negative of equation, EMF is positive. When EMF is negative, current also negative. When EMF is positive, the induced current also is positive. Because EMF and current has the same direction according to Ohm's law. Okay. The negative sign or minus sign in the front of the Faraday's law equation is in included to is indicated to included to indicate what? The polarity of the induced EMF that opposes to each other. The negative sign indicates that the induced magnetic field opposes the change in the applied field, as I mentioned in the previous lesson. Okay. Recall that the SI unit for the magnetic field strength V is the Tesla. And it is equivalent unit, so this is V. It should be capital. Okay. And according the Faraday's law, E is equal to what? Change locus over time. E is equal to what? E measured in volts, sorry. E measured in what? Volts. Okay. Locus measured in what? Weber. So, and Weber is equal to what? Because Flacus is equal to AB cosine theta. So the Weber is Tesla meter square over second. Okay, so volt is equal to Weber per second or Tesla meter square per second. Bring down this volt. Tesla meter square per second. Cross product. One time is Tesla meter square. Tesla meter square. V time is S. Volt second. Rearrange equation. T is equal to what? Volt second over meter square. So what is the equivalent unit of Tesla? Volt second per meter square. And also we have another equivalent unit in a magnetic force is equal to what? Q V B. Okay. B is equal to what? Q V F over Q V. Force Newton column. Charge is column. V meter per second. So column per second is ampere. Meter is remain. What is the another equivalent unit of Tesla? Is Newton per ampere meter. Newton per ampere meter is the equivalent unit of Tesla according to the magnetic force. And volt second per meter square also is the equivalent unit for Tesla. Okay. Uh, question four in chapter review. If you have a fixed magnetic field and the length of wire, how can you increase the induced EMF across the ends of the wire? According to Faraday's law. According what? Faraday's law. E is equal to what? E is equal to what? Negative A. Changing A, B, cosine, theta. Period of time. The answer is wrap the wire into a coil that has many terms. That has what? Many terms. What do you mean by that has many terms? By increasing number of terms, by increasing number of terms, what happened to the induced EMF? Induced EMF also increases. Why? Because it is directly proportional. Okay, so you have to wrap the wire in the coil into if has it has a many terms. Okay, or move it in and out of the magnet field quickly. What do you mean by quickly? It means that on a small time. What do you mean by small time? It means that quickly. Okay? When the time is less, the EMF also increases. Okay? By, in, by these two ways, we can increase the induced EMF in a fixed magnetic field. We cannot change the magnetic field. Why? Because it is fixed. It's mentioned in the question. The magnetic field is what? Fix it. So, but we can changing, we can increase the number of terrain and also moving the magnet or the coil quickly in or out of the magnetic field. Okay.
Uh, now let's get started to solving the questions. Sample problem 6b. Sample problem 6b. Look at this question, please. A coil with 25 turners. What do you mean by this 25 turners? It means that this is number of turns. Number of turns, 25 turners. Okay? Of wire is wrapped around a hollow tube. We have a tube, okay? With an area. What is this? This is area. Okay? It's mentioned. And also you can recognize by the unit. The SI unit of area is meter squared. What do you mean by this number? This is area. The area is given, okay? Is equal to 1.8 meter squared, okay? In the case when the area is given in centimeter squared, you have to convert to what? Meter squared multiplied by what? 10 power negative 4, okay? Because it is not allowed to solve the question with the centimeter squared. The SI unit of area is meter squared, not centimeter squared. Okay. Each turn has the same area as the tube. A uniform magnetic field. Uniform magnetic field is applied at a right angle to the plane of the loop. So in that case, the plane of the loop is right angle to the magnetic field. It means that the plane of the loop is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Because of the area of the loop perpendicular to the magnetic field, it means that theta is zero. Theta is what? Zero degree. Why theta is zero? Because the magnetic field right angle to the plane of the coil. Okay? If the field increases, look, if the, what happened to the field? Increases. What do you mean by increasing the magnetic field? The increases of magnetic field, it means that, look, magnetic field increases, it means that changes, okay? Change in magnetic field, increase. It means that delta B is what? Delta B over delta T is positive, okay? When delta B over delta T is positive, EMF is what? Negative. Without solving the question, you can find the sign of the final result. In this question, the final result of induced EMF and the current should be negative. Let's check, okay? How did you know the induced EMF is negative? Because the magnetic field increases, okay? Uniformly from 0 to 0 0.55. Uh, B initial is 0. B final is 0 0.55 Tesla, okay? By the given of the magnetic field also, delta B is positive. Delta B is what? Positive. EMF is what? Negative. Current, also negative. Okay? In 0 0.85 second. What is this 0 0.5 second? This is time. Delta T, 0 0.85 second. This, this is all the given value in the question. For every question in physics, at first you have to write down all the given values. After that, you have to make a plan for solving the question. Now, what is unknown in the question? What is the hidden in the question? Find the magnitude of the induced EMF. What is unknown? The unknown here is EMF is unknown. EMF is unknown. Okay? If the resistance in the coil, because of the resistance is given, it means that you have to find the current. Okay? What is the magnitude of the resistance? The resistance is given is equal to 2.5 ohm. Okay? Find the magnitude of the induced current. So how many unknowns do we have? We have two unknown. The current and induced EMF. Look, how can you solve this question? For the first unknown, EMF. At first, write down the equation. Negative N. What is changes in this question? Area or magnetic field? The magnetic field. Why? Because the area is fixed. The area is what? Constant. Area in this question, constant. It means that the magnetic field changes. Why? Because the question says the magnetic field increases. What do I mean by increase? It means a change. So which equation can be used when the magnetic field changes? This equation, negative N, A, cosine theta, delta B over what? Delta T. 
replace negative number of turn was given 25 area of the coil was given 1.8 angle plane of the loop perpendicular to the magnetic field it means that cosine zero time is delta b it means that b final minus b initial do we have b final yes 0.55 minus 0 divided by 0.85 by using your calculator this is positive okay positive times negative 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 what 29 volt as i mentioned before the magnitude of the indicated amf should be negative look this is negative 29 how can you find the current to find the current I is equal to what according to Ohm's law EMF divided by resistance EMF we didn't have EMF at first we found it it was negative 29 divided by 2.5 the current is equal to negative 12 ampere the current is also negative this is the sample problem 6b okay very good question now we will solve the question one in practice 6b look at question one a single circular loop what do you mean by single circular loop it means that number of turn is one number of turn is equal to what one turn with the radius what is this this is radius so do we need radius in the Faraday's law no we have to convert to what to the area look radius is equal to 22 centimeter 22 centimeter you have to convert to meter why because the SI unit of radius is meter not centimeter divided by 100 R is equal to 0.22 meter okay uh, so you have to convert to what to the uh, uh, to the area area is equal to what pi r squared and instead of area in the question write down pi r squared okay place a uniform external magnetic field with the strength of 0.5 tesla what is this this is magnetic field 0.5 tesla but i don't know this magnetic field is initial magnetic field or final magnetic field okay let's complete the question the, so that the plane of the coil plane of what plane of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field plane of coil perpendicular of the magnetic field it means that like that the plane is what perpendicular okay angle is equal to what zero when does angle is zero when the plane is perpendicular to the magnetic field the coil is pulled steadily out what do you mean by coil coil pulled steadily out it means that at first the coil is in the magnetic field but when we pull it out from the field the magnetic field becomes zero look at this figure at first the magnetic field the coil is into the magnetic field but when we pull it out in b in the second case when we pull it out b final is equal to zero b final is equal to what zero tesla so if this is b final, it means it means that this is b initial why because the coil is pull it steadily out in in how many second time delta t in 0 0.25 second okay find the average induced emf only the induced emf is unknown in this question okay the answer is write down the equation negative n what is changes here the magnetic field changes it means that the area is fixed n a cosine theta delta b over delta t look at the change in magnetic field which one is bigger b final or b initial b initial is bigger than so the magnetic field what happened to the magnetic field decrease or increase decrease why because from 0.5 goes to zero so in that case delta b is positive or negative delta b is negative then emf is what positive the emf should be positive look replace into the equation negative n do we have area no but we have radius area equal to what 
pi r squared. Instead of area, write what? Pi r squared. Okay? Cosine 0 times delta b, b final minus b initial. b final was given 0, pull it steadily out, minus b initial was given 0 0.5 divided by time. Okay? And also you can write here, uh, b final minus b initial. Okay? Sorry, this is 90, okay? Uh, replace the number into the equation. N number of terms, single loop, it means that 1, times pi 3.14, r squared, 0 0.22 squared, cosine 91, times b final, 0, b initial, 0.5 divided by 0.25. So this result is negative. Negative time is negative, positive. EMF by calculator, you can calculate. Is positive what? Positive 0.3 volt. So in this question, we have only one unknown, the induced EMF. So this is question one. Okay. Question two. Question two, a coil with 205 teren. Number of teren? 205 terms of wire. Total resistance, 23 ohm. Resistance, 23 ohm. It means that we have to find the current. Cross-section area of 0.25 meter squared. Area, 0.25 meter squared. Okay, it's positioned with it is plane. The plane of this area, the plane of this coil, is perpendicular to the field. When the plane is perpendicular to the field, theta is zero. Okay, sorry, in the previous list, in the previous question, I wrote theta 90. Sorry, I was wrong. I mean, theta is zero, not 90. Okay, in the question one, look, I wrote. Uh, yeah, theta zero, but in the question I wrote 90, this is not 90, it was zero, okay? When the plane of the loop is perpendicular, the angle is zero, okay? Uh, what, uh, what average current is induced in the, during, uh, in the coil during the 0.25 second? What is unknown? Current is unknown. Delta T during 0.25 second. That the magnetic field drops. What do you mean by drop? Dropping magnetic field, it means that the magnetic field decreases. Okay? Drops from what? B initial 1.6 to 0. Delta B, in the case of dropping magnetic field, it means that decreases. Negative. The EMF or current is positive. Okay? B initial was given. All point, uh, sorry, 1.6 Tesla. B final is zero. Sorry, zero. Okay, B final is what is zero. So it means that delta B decreases and it is negative. So EMF and current, EMF positive, current also positive in this question. Okay, to find current, you have to make a plan in this question. Current is equal to what? Current is not equal to EMF over R? Yes. Do we have EMF? No. Find EMF. EMF is equal to what? Negative N A cosine theta delta B over delta T. Replace. N was given 205. Area also was given 0 0.25, cosine 0, 1, final minus initial, final 0, minus 1.6, the result is negative 1.6, divided by 0 0.25. Negative time is negative, negative time is negative, is positive. By calculator, you can get this value.
328. 328 what? Volt. Replace into this equation. I is equal to what? EMF, we found 328 divided by 23. The current of this coil is equal, or this loop is equal to what? 14 ampere. Both current and EMFs are positive. Why? Because magnetic field decreases. Delta B decreases. Okay? Question 3 from chapter uh, from practice 6 uh, B practice 6 B question 3 is Okay. A question 3 a circular wire loop with the radius what is this this is radius okay r is equal to r the radius is given a point 33 when the radius is given you have to convert to area pi r squared okay located an external magnetic field strength this is magnetic field but I don't know this is initial or final. B right, B is equal to 0 0.35 Tesla. Okay? Uh, in perpendicular to the plane of the loop, it means that angle is zero. Okay? Uh, the field strength changes 0 0.25 Tesla. So it means that this is initial. B final is equal to uh, negative. 0.25 Tesla. So as you can see, the magnetic field decreases. So that is why the EMF should be negative. In time, 0.15, uh, 1.5 seconds, sorry. 1.5 second. Okay, find what? The magnitude of the average induced EMF during this interval. Write down the equation as usual. E. What is changes here? Magnetic field. It means that the area is fixed. Cosine theta. Delta B, it means that B final minus B initial over time. Number of terrain. Circular wire loop of radius. It means that we have number of terrain is one. If the number of terrain is not given in the question, it means that number of terrain is equal to one. N is one, okay? Negative one times area. We didn't have area, but we can find it. Uh, pi r square. Okay, and instead of area, write what? Pi r square. Pi is three point fourteen. R was given zero point thirty three square. Cosine zero one. B final negative zero point twenty five minus zero point. 35 divided by what? 1.5 second. 1.5. By calculator, negative times negative is positive and EMF is equal to 0 0.14 volt. Okay? So that is enough for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy and get benefits from my lesson. Thank you very much.